everyone welcome back to my channel today I'm just sitting down I have to go out soon so I've got my cup of tea and I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna answer your Q&A questions if you don't follow me on Instagram you should find me on there because that's where I always post whenever I want to do a QA. and I just pop up a picture and ask you guys to ask me your questions now I don't know if I'm getting confused or if I do actually seem to have a different hairstyle every time I do a Q&A wouldn't surprise me but I think that's what's happened before I jump into it, it's my turn to ask you guys questions. So I wanted to ask, now regardless of country or state or anything like that, I've got three places for you. Would you prefer to live at the beach, in the city, or out in like a rural country area? Leave me a comment below and let me know which you prefer. What made you and Bo want to set up your fitness business? Um, basically Bo has had his own fitness business like personal training for nearly nine years now so he's been doing it for a long time he wanted to do ebooks but he didn't have anyone to make them for him and he tried talking to graphic designers and stuff but people he would hire them and they just wouldn't go through with the work and things like that um, I came on board and then I was studying nutrition as well and I wanted to start the blog and he wanted to do his ebooks so we just went from there what would you tell your 18 year old self stop bleaching your hair you're wrecking it how do you keep your stress levels down with such a busy schedule? I have super high anxiety and I struggle with my schedule sometimes. I run pretty well on stress until it gets to a point where I've made myself sick. I always get a throat infection when I'm too stressed and I know I have to back off a bit. Um, for me, I find it's about taking just a little bit of time in each day and doing something that is relaxing and something that I enjoy. I do have like a little relaxation routine video. Um, a lot of you said that helps, so that's the sort of stuff that I do. Just take a little bit of time in your day to make sure you're doing something for yourself and looking after yourself. When are you starting your fitness YouTube? So I think you mean the Eat Run Lift YouTube channel. I have started the channel already. So if you search for Eat Run Lift, three separate words, the channel is sitting there. We have like an intro trailer video on the channel, but I haven't finished setting up the channel completely. And after we've moved house and everything is when we're gonna start uploading the videos on there because Bo's going away on a holiday with like his mum and his brother and I'll be here packing up the house. And so after that, because we'll be a bit busy before then. Favorite cheat meal? Oh, I was thinking actually, I really wanna film maybe like a month or just a fortnight or something, cause I only have two cheat meals a week. So maybe a fortnight would do of just cheat meals and just showing you guys what I consider a cheat meal and what I have when I'm not eating like my healthy food. Favorite cheat meal? Um, pretty basic, it's probably burgers. I really like trying out different burger places and different flavors. If you're from Brisbane, go to De Burger in New Farm and try their veggie burger. I think it's De Veggie or something. It's like the vegetarian burger and it is so good. How long does it usually take you to fall asleep? I lie down early, but unless I'm exhausted, I'm tossing and turning in my bed for an hour or two. I'm normally asleep within about 10 minutes. I lie down and I don't move and I just have this breathing technique that I do and it just knocks me out. What camera would you suggest when starting a YouTube channel? Okay, so if you're just starting, it depends how much experience you have with lighting and camera equipment and all that sort of stuff. When I first started filming, I was using a Canon 5D Mark II. If you're not big on camera equipment and you're not sure what you're doing, get something that does have like an easier automatic mode. And I would also suggest something with a flip out screen. So I have a backup camera now as well, which is a Canon 70D. The 70D is also on the cheaper side of the scale as well. If you just get the body, I would recommend just getting the body and not getting the lens kits that come with it. Buy your lenses separately. I would also really, really recommend that you get a decent tripod. And by decent, I mean like a Manfrotto tripod. Drop like $300 on it, $200 on it. Uh, you just want to invest in a really, really good piece. A good tripod will last you a long time. A bad tripod can last you about a month. Do you ever eat chocolate or unhealthy foods? Yeah, like I'm not superhuman or anything. I just limit how much I can eat those things. I know that my week is so busy that for me, it makes sense just to designate certain days that I will have a meal that's more relaxed and I don't really care about like the macros or what's in it. I think there is definitely a line between living a healthy lifestyle and being obsessive about what you're eating. How do you keep yourself motivated to do all you do? I'm at college, run two businesses and some days I can't face any of it. You're a wee inspiration. Thank you. Um, every now and again, like I'm talking one day out of every few months, I'll have a day where I just can't even get out of bed. I just can't do anything. I am just 
sad or over it or people have just pushed me over the edge and I just have to have a day where I switch everything off and I do nothing. Most of the time though I'm a pretty positive person, I try to set goals and achieve them so I set tasks for the day, I set tasks for the week, I set tasks for the month. That way I know what I'm doing and I'm planning and I always know where I'm going and what I've got to do and what I've got coming up. For me organization and motivation are the keys to success. Um, motivation, it's not something that stays, it's something that you have to feed continually. So find new things that inspire you, um, make friends with people who push you to be your best. I find personally that I'm more motivated as well when I can find myself little gaps of more free time to put in tasks that I would prefer to do. So things that I don't really want to do, I will outsource to someone else. So I have someone else doing a lot of the customer inquiry emails now. Um, I have someone else that we're training up to look after the personal trainers at the gym just that sort of stuff. Your biggest goal, business or personal or both really, I guess the end goal if I was to summarize it and gloss it over would be to have a portfolio of companies. Do you have any exercises for people who spend all day working at the desk and have upper backache? Um, I find personally it's been more about the recovery than the actual exercises. I'm in the middle of putting together like a recovery routine video. I've gotten permission from my physio to film there and I'm just waiting back from my Cairo so I'll show you guys what I do. I go to the chiropractor and I get my spine adjusted. I also go to the physio for him to work on my traps and my neck and then Personally, I foam roll my back and I stretch and I use a trigger point ball. I use a lacrosse ball to do that and I trigger point, trigger point in my traps up here and between my shoulder blades on my back. So that's all I've got for this video. Don't forget to find me on Instagram and Twitter if you have other questions and for me to do more Q&As for you. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it because it does help me out a lot and I will catch you guys in my next upload. See ya!